In this video test, we have the Panasonic S1 with the Panasonic 24 to 105mm f4 OIS lens. This is sitting on the Feutech AK4500 gimbal with dual handle grip. We're testing out the S1's continuous autofocus in video mode and our model today is George, the French Bulldog. And since we're shooting outside, we've also got a Polar Pro Variable ND 2 to 5 stops. Alright, so we're starting off simple with just seeing how the autofocus picks up on George's head. So you can see that it's in focus now and as he turns to the camera, sniffing around, and then turns back, you can see that it does uh, make some changes. This was a very quick run up to George and didn't stay in focus, but then caught focus. Here's a pretty average orbit around George, uh, just trying to get some sort of moving shots. And this orbit's just a little bit better ish uh, and you can start to see now I think this might be because of the variable ND George's fur is a little bit yellow now I'm not sure that really probably shouldn't be happening here and George lays over now and the camera does keep up with a little bit of an autofocus change which is good and this is all being shot on the gimbal so right now I'm just sitting the gimbal down on the deck and zooming in now we're on a 105 millimeter or at the 105 millimeter point and you can see there's a little bit of shake and that's because the gimbal is now unbalanced. So I didn't rebalance when I uh, changed the focal length just to see if the gimbal could cope with it and it coped pretty well. Uh, it, the motors didn't start making lots of noise so you could just see a little bit of the micro jitters. So obviously it's not ideal to readjust the focal length while shooting but if you're in a pinch you might be able to get away with it. And it's George looking around, he's in focus, which is great. This is all shot continuous autofocus. And now we're trying to get some walking shots or some movement shots. Big yawn, great. And here's a bit of a moving shot going closer to George, seeing if he stays in focus. Looks to be pretty well in focus. And now we're moving away from George as he sniffs around. Focus is a bit soft there and then hasn't caught on now. Looks to be catching on. Now we've got a bit of a moving shot. And he's a bit soft, but now he's a little bit sharper now. Now this is at 105 millimeter. So it goes in focus, then it goes out of focus and doesn't come back. Pretty hard to keep him framed properly at 105 as well. And once again, you can see that lighting on his fur. A little bit strange. And this is at 105 as well. Now we're moving backwards, goes out of focus. And then goes back in, but then doesn't. Now we're moving around. George has a bit of a roll around. And we get back in focus. And focus seems to be pretty good right now, but no. And we don't get it again. And a bit of a shake off. Now we've got focus again. This time the gimbal is sitting down on the ground. George walks away, we see his butt. And apologies with the jerky movement with the gimbal, reframing. Now George starts to walk towards the camera and we'd expect the camera to focus on George, but it isn't, unfortunately. But now it goes back into focus, bit of a sniff and a walk off. Great job, George. Now we've got focus on the plant, George in the background. We then move the camera towards George and that was all the camera going autofocus. I didn't push a button or anything. Now this is George hanging out in the backyard, getting some sun. And this is still sitting on the gimbal. I believe this would be about 105 millimeter. So it's currently unbalanced on the gimbal. Now this is 105 as well. You can see it's a little bit shaky. Right now, George is walking towards the camera and out of focus. 
and tries to go back and focus, but then, nah, never comes back. Now we're walking along, following George. Now you can see me change the ND. And George goes back into focus. And this is at 24 mils. Now this is, I believe, 85 mils uh, at an F4. And we use various ISOs as well during this. This is 105 millimeters, F4, I believe ISO 400 with probably five stops of ND. And we're shooting at 25 frames per second and using a 50 shutter. If you like this video, please give it a like. And if you haven't already, please subscribe for more videos like this in the future.